All right, so today we're doing a main lobster catch and cook. We're actually gonna do Jonah crabs as well. And it's gonna be pretty interesting. We're doing a collab. So it'll actually be a collab catch and cook with Nick Cracker. He's a content creator on TikTok and YouTube. He reached out. So yeah, basically we're bringing a complete stranger from the internet on the boat with us and I have never met him before. So I'm a little nervous about it. Um, I've been waiting here since 1 a.m. Can okay. we get going okay. or yeah. what? Okay. In ways of being a complete stranger, he's letting me stay in his cabin. So, you know, if you're a complete stranger to him, maybe you could come stay in them too. French dog. All right, we got the bait. We got the boat. We're going to get the crabs. We're going to get the lobsters. Traps are already in the ocean. Just like in the past videos, we got 400 traps out there. We're going to go haul them up, see what we get out of them. All right, so we just got to the spot where the first traps are located. We're going to take you through them, see what we catch, hopefully catch some lobster definitely gonna catch some crabs unfortunately it is way bumpier than they elaborated on today i mean i did this is terrible so i'm not sure about the new guy in the situation that we've got at hand here said he'd be all right but i sense this going south said he doesn't get motion sick doesn't get seasick but start to look a little pale so the ultimate goal for the day is to catch some lobsters and crabs bring them back to the cabins and cook them up uh but the short-term goal have nick survive until the sun gets up get through the day without having too much hopefully have him enjoy the day on the boat we're going to teach him how to ban lobsters how to bait time to show him the ropes and explain the process to him we're going to get to it so we're pulling up to the first buoy of the day. Nick's gonna pull it in. Turn this this way. Come right up behind the float. So you're coming the blue one? In. The blue one, yeah. There's a rope on the front of it. You're just gonna hook into that. Pull it in. Oh, the child's got you. <laughs> oh, you got it. All right, so now you set the gap back down. Back goes through there. Yep, you set the gap right on the rail. Oh. Run this rope free. Now we wait for the five trap. Come on. Oh, we have lobsters! <laughs> Yo, this is awesome. Nope, you're not. I think I had a different species of crab in mind. Yeah, right? so this is a female. She's a hard shell. See how hard her shell is? You don't want her to bite you. See how light this one's claws are compared to this one? Yeah, yeah. This is a soft shell lobster. This is actually a keeper. So what do I do? So that's with our it? first lobster. We can throw it right in there and it's going to get banded. They'll show you how to band it later. This is a V knot. Somebody caught her when she had eggs. So, so tell me, this is a female and when you notch them, you notch all females? Only when they have eggs. So a fisherman caught her at one point when she had eggs. How notch. do you know she's a female? So the first thing you look for is the upper, these are, these are their swimmerettes. You look at the top ones, you can see how flimsy these ones are. Yeah. You can see how stiff these ones are. Yeah. Males are much stiffer. And Naturally. Is this like the normal color of them? Because she's hard shell. You hook that hook. It smells like my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Pull the handle up so the string comes tight. Yeah, there you go. Now use your hand and slide the fish down in. Yep, just like that. That's it? Just yep, like just like that. So that's the first trap of the day. We've only got 399 left to go. Hopefully they go a little faster than that one did. Yeah. <laughs> but we're we'll get it. We're gonna get to work. Keith and Cody are gonna teach Zach how to measure band bait. Zach. Zach, did I say Zach? Yeah. I'm Nick. You know what? Cody. I just throw Nick. me overboard okay. at this point. What's the point? By the end of the day, I'll be a master baiter. You better believe that. This right here is a Jonah crab, and they're kind of comparable to the stone crab that are in Florida. They have those black claws like Florida stone crabs have, and if you eat them, they actually wind up tasting really good. There's not really much of a market for them here in Maine. That's why we throw them back. This boat is not targeting this species. I, on the other hand, really like to eat crabs, so we're going to go ahead and keep this and see what they taste like. This guy is definitely within regulation size. He's nice and big. We're going to throw him in the cooler. This right here is a female Maine lobster, and the way you could tell is because these two flimsy guys right here. The males are much harder right over here, and you could definitely tell when they're upright. This right here is an example of a male. As you can see, they're a lot more plump, a lot of blood in that area. Here, they're a lot more flimsy. That's how you know it's a female. This female is not notch, indicating that she has never had eggs in her life, or at least no lobster fisherman has seen her add egg. Therefore, she's a keeper. She's nice and big, nice and plump. She's going to go on a plate soon. So we're now about 80 traps into the day. The wind is actually breezing up now, and it's coming around easterly, northeast. The weathermen always, always, always get northeast, east wrong. Always add 10 to whatever they're calling for on an easterly wind. How you holding up in here, Nick? <coughs> good we only got like eight hours left so. i am really i'm not feeling too hot right now i mean the, it smells like shit on here every four minutes there's there's just a wave of the fishiest fish ever so this is puke nation coming up live so we are now at the halfway point of the day noticing nick's energy level dropping a little bit this Eight. boat is rocking more and more every hour this is ridiculous so like I said, we're halfway through the day. We got four hours left to go. We can't just run him in. He's starting to feel a little queasy. So we're gonna keep coaching him up. Hopefully he can beat the day and get Is through there it without- Is a bathroom on here? Yeah, right back there. Off the boat? In the boat, on the boat, where? You want me to pee on the boat? <laughs> Whatever works. Oh my. Bro, I'm big fish! <laughs> Bro, 
He's getting greener by the moment. Some crackers. One tip that you can do to try to beat seasickness is to eat some food. Let's hope these crackers don't wind up in the ocean soon enough, you know? Might be counterproductive, I would assume. I have a feeling they're going in the ocean. Keith, you ever use an excuse to try to hide while you're seasick? I told the captain I thought I was pregnant once. Most of the time, Keith only gets seasick on Saturdays. I, I don't know, even if it's rough, calm, it doesn't matter. So we now have 100 traps left. We don't take a lot of time to eat on the boat usually. In between traps, if we have a minute, we'll grab a bite to eat. Nick, you want some pizza? <laughs> you want pizza? <laughs> you good? Okay. Hey, Nick, we've made it to the last one. Yes. So, I haven't thrown up yet. When you said you were feeling oozy earlier, I was like, not a chance he's gonna make it to the end of the day, but he did. And as a celebration, we're gonna let Nick, Paul, or Zach, I, I still don't know. Uh, I'm Nick, bro, Nick. I'm okay, Nick. Nick. As a little celebration, Zach's gonna haul the last trap up. What? We're gonna go through it, and we're actually gonna get our catch and cook lobsters and crabs out of these last five traps. Let's do it. Okay, the buoy's just that the way? The buoy's, the first, yep. Okay, that's the hauler. So this puts the boat in here. Yep, yep. push that one forward. Now this is your throttle, so if you want to go faster, we're not going to go fast, but if you wanted to go fast, this is how you would do it. Very delayed steering, because it's a bigger, heavier boat. It takes a while, oh, I so you kind buoy. of got to plan ahead. So that's your buoy. I'm going to let you see if you can get up to it. Which one for you? You're going to grab the buoy. These waves make it hard. I got your feet. <laughs> I got your feet. Get out of here. <laughs> Gaff on the rail backwards now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're getting superstition bad luck here. There you go. I'm just going to get the float through because this thing is really dangerous. So we're actually going to bring the boat over to where the traps are. And you put this rope up over the top of that as you lift it. It's kind of awkward. This shit's heavy. It's heavy. It's super heavy. It's going to be your right hand. And just try to swing it. You got half of it. I have no idea what I just want. You put it back? This is you, baby. Dude. Grab it, swing it, and lift that rope All up. All right. There we go. Looks like there's a lot of lobsters in there, but most of them are shorts and punch tails. We do have a nice crab for our catch and cook. He's only got one claw. But we're gonna put that in the bucket for the catch and cook. I'm excited to eat these. I've heard they're really good. <laughs> Looks like we got two keepers out of that for our catch and cook to bring home and cook later. Check this out. I'm a master baiter. I just wrap it around that black piece. I gotta say, I'm usually pretty confident in everything I do. This is something I am not fully confident in. Look at this little baby lobster. This is something you would never see unless you were here on the boat about to throw it back in the water. Yo, check this out. Wow, oh, that's a beauty. Spin. Sometimes when they're super soft, when they shed, right after they shed, they're just jelly paper bags. They don't have a shell at all. They actually grow through shedding. This one must have laid in a weird position while it was a paper bag jelly lobster and it's claw hardened in a weird shape. And you're just going to push it straight out. Good? Oh, yeah. Here goes the last one of the day. You made it. So we've completed the 400 traps. Now the only thing left to do is go in and sell the lobsters that we've got, put some bait on for tomorrow, get some fuel for tomorrow, take our lobsters and crabs back to the cabin, cook them up for dinner. So to cook these lobsters, we got water straight from the ocean. The salt in the water gives them better flavor. We're just steaming them, we're not boiling them, no seasoning. We're gonna top them off with the crab claws. So the lobsters only take about 12 minutes, the crab claws you get the water boiling hot, you put the crab claws in, boil will go away. As soon as the boil comes back, you time it for exactly five minutes and you take the crab claws out. I don't care, I'm so hungry. Okay. Can you just serve this freaking food? I literally have been on the boat all day, bro. <laughs> the butter on them? Yeah, that's just what comes out of their shell. Oh, dude. If you steam them, does that stay in their shell? I'm gonna get Nick's opinion on the Jonah crabs. I'm curious to see what he thinks about them compared to stone crabs in Florida. I'm guessing they're probably pretty similar. I haven't eaten many stone crabs, so I'm gonna take advantage of him being here. Having eaten a lot of stone crabs from Florida, I think it'll be cool to compare them. My mouth is watering right now. All right, well, you cheers. haven't eaten anything you have Cheers. Cheers. Good. That is really good. I can't believe there's not a market for these. Then I feel like stone crab are almost like, they almost have like a crab butter on them. So we go right across here. Oh my God. Let me have it. So it's the, <laughs> it's the same thing. There's cartilage in there. So you just bite down on the cartilage and let it slide off. If it's cooked right, it'll slide off easy. Bro. Good? Amazing, yeah. Synopsis. I say that stone crabs have a little bit more like crab butter on them almost. It could be because these ones were like in a light steam rather than like a, a true steam. I feel like usually when they're more steamed, 
the water doesn't get into the shell as much and doesn't wash it out. With that being said, these are absolutely delicious. I also feel like stone crabs in Florida are a little bit tougher. These ha are a lot, lot more like gotcha. tender. Like you bite it and it falls right off the, the cartilage. It, it, either way, they're both delicious. These are fire, fire. Sweet. So to pick them, we got a few different tricks. The tail is probably one of the coolest tricks. Twist their tail off and then you separate their flippers from their tail. And when you do, you're left with a little hole in the back. You push your finger and that hole in the tail pops right wow. out. Wow. What about the poop sack? Yeah, we clean that out. Wow, wow. So that's the tail trick. You want to try it? The, it's so hot, bro. How are you doing that? It's the claw meat, but it's great. Especially after you haven't eaten a thing all day. How delicious. We're not even, we don't have butter. Usually we would mix some butter and vinegar and dip this right in the butter and vinegar. But we just... You can't go wrong. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a lobster that we caught four hours ago. Is there any butter in there? Can I like, can mm -hmm. I just? I'm gonna give it to you in just a minute. <laughs> Sorry. You're good. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> we don't really do much with the body. You can get some tamale out of there. There's some good flavor in there. Okay. Okay, so the claws, since these are soft shells, they pick out really easy. We just fold the knuckles back against themselves. And if you go gentle, gentle, it'll come out just like the crab claws. Sweet. And you eat it right off. So the claw, if you go gentle, you can pull all the meat right out through on the thumb. So it comes out just like the crab did. You slide it off. That's the best part of the lobster right there. My gosh. Okay. 